Hello everybody, my name is Erkan Anna, and I'm from grade 8A and today I'm gonna show you my experiment and I'm gonna explain it to you. Hope you enjoy. So before we start, we need to know what is our topic. Our topic is what can we produce energy from? Either we can produce it from vegetables, which is very hard, or from magnet, or from battery, or we can say make an electrical circuit. So what is my experiment? My experiment is an electrical circuit. Electrical circuit is a road through which electrical current can flow. Current is a measure of how much electrical charge flows through a circuit. Electrical circuit is just like a way to transfer electric current from point A to point B. So how does an electrical circuit work? In this example, the electrons will flow from the negative side of the battery to a conducting material on the base of the ball. From there, the electrons flow up a wire that is inside and then across the filament, which is a part of the ball that actually lights. When the electrons go through the filament, some of the electrical energy is changed into heat energy and light energy. Then the electrons flow down to another wire inside the ball and then flow to another conductor on the base of the ball. Finally, the electrons make their way to the positive side of the battery. If the electrons then travel to the positive side of the battery, there won't be a complete circuit, which means that the bulb will not light up. So what is my goal? My goal is to make an electrical circuit that consists of one battery, one switch, and some wires, or we can say conductors, and two lights. My goal is to make an electrical circuit that consists of two lights, and each light can light up individually. But my main goal is that it works. So what were the materials that I used to create my circuit? The materials that I used to create the circuit were a battery, some wires, and a switch, and two bolts. So what were the steps to create this product? Step 1. I went to a shop and bought the materials and came home. Step 2. I cut the cardboard and glued the battery to the cardboard. Step 3. I made some holes on the cardboard to put the wires in so that it looks nicer. Step 4. I glued the switch and the lights to the cardboard. Step 5. I put the wires of the components in the holes that I cut. I connected the wires of the bolt to the switch since I can connect 4 components to the switch. Step 7. I put the glass on the light so that it looks nicer and it doesn't get damaged. Step 8, or the last step, I glue the cardboard to the bottom of the cardboard so that the wires don't get damaged. So what was the outcome? So what was the outcome? So the outcome was this. The outcome of my experiment was very good. It went just as I planned. The lights are connected to the switch and the lights do work. The battery's power is enough for the light, which means that the lights will not burn. Because I tried to light a small LED that takes around 1.8 and 3.3 volts. And my battery was so powerful. So the LED burned. I didn't expect that it would work because this is my first time making an electric circuit. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.